Hi, this is Ms. Delosier and welcome to AP Biology. Since we're going to be spending a lot of time together, I thought that I would go ahead and make a little video to let you know a little bit about me and a little bit about the class. So as I said, I'm Ms. Delosier. You can call me Miss D. And I have been at Louisville High School for the past 11 years. Um, this year I'm teaching AP Biology and Physics. I went to college at a very small college called Harvey Mudd College. It's in California and while I was there I majored in biology and my focus was on understanding the evolutionary relationships between different types of marine invertebrates and I studied a lot of corals and a lot of anemones and some sea urchins. Um, after uh, undergraduate I went ahead and entered a PhD program at the University of Rochester in Rochester, New York. And there I was looking at the uh, evolutionary genetics, so the genetic relatedness between different species of wasps. Um, and I did that for about two years. I was all done with all of my coursework. I was working on my dissertation. And I realized when I wasn't teaching, I wasn't really enjoying myself. Um, I wasn't really enjoying the research, and I was really kind of loving the labs and the classes that I was teaching. So I took a semester off and took some education classes and decided I really wanted to to be a teacher, not a researcher. So I went ahead and uh, got my master's degree in not only biology while I was there, but I also got a master's degree in education. I moved to Texas in the year 2000. Um, so I've been here for a while now. I am married. I don't have any kids. What I do have is a Great Dane um, who's very silly. His name is Indiana. Uh, we named him Indiana so we can say that we named the dog Indiana. Anybody get the reference? Um, but that's him. And just a little bit about me. I really, really like food. A lot of food. Um, a lot, a lot of food. This is my dog, by the way. Um, and so when I'm eating all of that food, I have to go ahead and work all that food off. So I also like to run. I run very slowly. I do marathons a couple times a year. I also do some short distance triathlons. So in the morning, sometimes I'll be really tired um, and I'll miss a couple days during the year because I'll be away at races. Other than that, what kinds of things do I like? Uh, I like science fiction. So I like Star Wars. I love Harry Potter. Um, that's not science fiction, that's fantasy. And I love Doctor Who. Um, so I'm a big sci-fi and fantasy nerd, and I will make references to them all the time. And if you make references them to, to we'll, we'll probably get along very well. And if you don't, then you can just, you know, pretend that you don't hear them. So that's a little bit about me, um, and I'm hoping to get to know all of you fairly well. We're going to be together for, for the next 30 36 weeks. Um, so uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and email me or come by the room. So let's get to know a little bit about biology at Louisville High School. The main course is 27 weeks, um, and so you'll get one and a half credits of AP credit at your 1.3 multiplier. The last nine weeks is an independent study where we basically prepare for the test, and that is not going to be an AP multiplier course. But I do recommend that you take it if you're planning on taking the the exam because it really does help kind of wrap everything up, but we can talk about that more later. Uh, if you pass the AP test, you'll receive two semesters of college biology and lab credit at most colleges. It's going to be different depending on what college you are going to, and we'll have to look at the specifics of where you're applying if you have a question about the score that you'll need. The other thing that we need to talk about in this class is that you will need a device. I know a lot of you really enjoy doing notes on paper um, rather than notes on the iPad and that's cool but a lot of the materials that you're going to access this year are going to be on the iPad and a lot of the ways that you're going to report data um, is going to be forms on the iPad so you're going to need a device. I don't care if it's an iPad or if it's a Samsung tablet or um, a Kindle Fire if you have a laptop, whatever you have, you're just going to need to bring a device to class every day. And if you have any concerns about access to that, just go ahead and get with me um, during block lunch, and we can talk about what you need to do as far as that. 
So AP Biology is arranged around four big ideas. Um, and we're going to go through these big ideas, not big idea by big idea, but we're going to look at our different units over the course of the year and we're going to kind of try and tie all of them together. And the first big idea is, um, is the question of how does evolution drive the diversity and the unity of life? And we're going to tie everything back to that. So everything is going to get tied into one of these ideas, but that one's going to be pretty major. Like how do we, how is everything interrelated and how do we get all these different diverse types of organisms from the same basic molecules and molecular processes? Big idea two is how do biological systems use energy and matter to grow, to reproduce, and to maintain homeostasis? So that one should sound pretty familiar to you, but we're going to go in a lot more depth than you guys went in freshman year. Big idea three is how do biological systems store, retrieve, transmit, and respond to information? So you should be thinking about things like, you know, oh, I remember DNA and, you know, responding and uh, the nervous system and the endocrine system. And we're going to hit on all those things, but we're going to be looking at, um, at a lot of cellular processes also. And then big idea four, how do biological systems interact and how do those interactions result in more complex processes? So that's kind of what we're looking at for the year. Those are our four big ideas for the whole year. And in those big ideas, we're going to include a bunch of scientific process skills. And most of these are things that that, that you've done before. Use mathematics, um, ask scientific questions, plan and implement data collection. So I'm not going to go through all of these right now because we're going to be integrating these into class pretty much on a daily basis. And so you'll see how, we, um, how we're going to, to bring these in with all of our activities. The, the course is heavily lab-based, so you're going to be using these skills all of the time and our overall goal is this one down here is to to go ahead and use these science process skills to connect our concepts across those four those four big ideas so the AP test is in May it's um, the second Monday of AP testing and it will be your 8 a.m. test if you take the test and it's made up of two parts the first part is 63 multiple choice questions and six grid in questions um, and the gridding questions are just math questions where you, you know, you'll you'll write your answer down. They'll tell you round to the nearest tenth, and then you bubble in your answer underneath, uh, just like on on the EOC and the tax test. And that is worth fifty percent of the test. Part two is your free response questions, um, and so these are your essay questions. And there's going to be two long free response questions that are worth 10 points each, and then six short free response questions that are worth between um, uh, three and four points each. And that part two is going to be worth 50%. So that gives you your total 100% of your test. So you can see that your essay questions are going to be just as valuable as your multiple choice questions. And that's that's really it. That's, that's AP Biology, no content but about the course in a nutshell. And that's very fast. Um, and I hope it's been helpful to you. And I will see you guys in class.